What if a simple machine, like a centrifuge, could change the course of history? It sounds unbelievable, but that's the reality of uranium enrichment. From powering nuclear submarines to creating weapons of mass destruction, uranium's power lies in a process that many people don't fully understand. Today, we'll explore how uranium is enriched, what makes it so powerful, and the global consequences of controlling this process. If you've ever wondered about nuclear energy or the politics behind it, stick with us. This video will shed light on one of the most critical technologies shaping our world today. Uranium's power. Uranium's power comes from its unique atomic structure, specifically its isotopes. Naturally, occurring uranium contains three main isotopes, U-234, U-235, and U-238. All these isotopes have 92 protons, but they differ in the number of neutrons. The most important isotope, U-235, is what makes uranium so powerful. U-235 is capable of undergoing a process known as fission. When a neutron strikes the nucleus of a U-235 atom, the atom splits into two lighter atoms, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the form of heat. This reaction is the basis for both nuclear energy and nuclear weapons. The energy released from a single fission event is massive, and this is why uranium is used in reactors to produce electricity and in bombs for devastating effects. Interestingly, U-235 only makes up about 0.7% of all natural uranium, with the majority being U-238, which is not as useful for fission. However, the power of U-235 is immense. When it is isolated and concentrated, it can produce large amounts of energy, making it a critical resource for nuclear power plants and military use. Uranium's power lies in its ability to release vast amounts of energy when its atoms undergo fission, making it a crucial element in both energy generation and weaponry. This dual nature of uranium is what makes it both valuable and dangerous. Enriching Uranium Uranium enrichment is the process of increasing the proportion of U-235 in uranium ore. The goal is simple, separate the small amount of U-235 from the larger amounts of U-234 and U-238. But the process itself is far from simple. One of the most common methods for enrichment is using a centrifuge. The centrifuge works by spinning uranium gas at extremely high speeds. This creates a force that causes the heavier U-238 to move to the outside, while the lighter U-235 stays closer to the center. By carefully siphoning off the center portion, you can isolate the U-235 and concentrate it. However, the mass difference between U-235 and U-238 is tiny. In fact, the difference is so small that it requires extreme speeds to separate them. A typical centrifuge used for uranium enrichment spins at nearly 60,000 revolutions per minute, creating forces up to a million times greater than gravity. These extreme speeds allow the centrifuge to separate the two isotopes, with U-235 being enriched in the process. But why go through all this trouble? U-235 can be used in nuclear reactors for power generation. For nuclear energy plants, the uranium needs to be enriched to about 3-5% to U-235. However, for creating nuclear weapons, you need uranium enriched to over 90% U-235. The higher the enrichment, the more powerful the uranium becomes, but also the more dangerous it is. Centrifuges explained. Centrifuges are at the heart of uranium enrichment, but how exactly do they work? To answer that, we need to understand the basic science behind centrifugal force. When you spin a liquid or gas at extremely high speeds, the heavier particles move outward, while the lighter particles remain closer to the center. In the case of uranium, this means that the heavier U-238 molecules move to the outer edges of the centrifuge, while the lighter U-235 molecules stay in the middle. Centrifuges used in uranium enrichment operate at incredible speeds, up to 60,000 revolutions per minute or more. 
This is necessary because the difference in mass between U-235 and U-238 is so small that only high-speed spinning can effectively separate them. Imagine spinning a ball at high speeds. The centrifugal force would push the heavier materials to the edge of the ball. It's the same concept, but on a microscopic scale. To separate U-235 from U-238, uranium hexafluoride, UF6, gas is used. UF6 is the gas form of uranium, and it's ideal for the centrifuge process because it allows the molecules to move freely. As the centrifuge spins, UF6 gas is pushed to the sides, and the U-238 molecules collect in the outer part of the centrifuge, while the U-235 remains in the center. This process is repeated in a series of centrifuges, with each stage enriching the uranium further. The result is uranium that's rich in U-235, ready to be used in reactors, submarines, or, in some cases, weapons. Uranium's Uses Uranium is one of the most versatile and powerful elements on Earth, with a wide range of uses that impact both peaceful and military applications. While uranium's role in nuclear weapons is often discussed, its peaceful applications in energy production and propulsion systems are just as significant. The most prominent use of uranium is in nuclear power generation. When uranium is enriched to a specific level, typically around 3-5% U-235, it can sustain a nuclear chain reaction in a reactor. This reaction generates heat, which is then used to produce steam that drives turbines to generate electricity. Nuclear power plants powered by uranium provide a significant portion of the world's electricity and are essential for countries aiming to reduce their dependence on fossil fuels. Nuclear energy is a clean, efficient source of power, producing minimal greenhouse gas emissions compared to coal or natural gas. Another major use of uranium is in nuclear-powered submarines and aircraft carriers. These vessels rely on nuclear reactors, fueled by enriched uranium to operate for extended periods, without needing to refuel. Nuclear propulsion allows submarines to remain submerged for months at a time, making them crucial for military defense. However, uranium's potential for peaceful energy use also carries a darker side. When enriched to higher levels, over 90% U-235, it becomes suitable for creating nuclear weapons. This dual-use nature of uranium is why its enrichment process is highly regulated and often a source of international tension. Uranium's uses in energy and defense are vast, but the challenges of its regulation and potential misuse make it a topic of ongoing global debate. Geopolitical Impact The process of uranium enrichment has far-reaching geopolitical implications. Countries that possess the ability to enrich uranium hold significant power on the global stage. This power isn't just about energy production, it's about national security, defense, and global influence. For decades, nations like the United States, Russia, and China have controlled nuclear technology, setting the rules for the global nuclear order. However, as more nations gain access to uranium enrichment technology, the balance of power is shifting. Countries like Iran and North Korea have pursued nuclear programs, arguing that they need enriched uranium for peaceful purposes, such as energy generation. Yet the international community remains suspicious, as the same technology can be used to create nuclear weapons. The spread of uranium enrichment technology creates a delicate situation in international relations. While some countries see nuclear energy as a pathway to energy independence, others see it as a dangerous tool for creating weapons of mass destruction. This tension fuels international debates and negotiations on non-proliferation agreements, arms control treaties, and sanctions. The presence of uranium enrichment capabilities in multiple countries has the potential to spark arms races or destabilize regions already fraught with conflict. The technology that powers our lights and submarines also holds the power to ignite wars and reshape alliances. In this context, controlling uranium enrichment is more than just a matter of national interest. It's a matter of global security. Conclusion To wrap up, uranium enrichment is a process that has shaped both our energy future and our global security. 
The ability to isolate U-235, the key isotope responsible for both peaceful nuclear power and dangerous weapons, is a game-changer. We've explored how the centrifuge works its magic, separating uranium isotopes at extreme speeds, and how enriched uranium powers everything from nuclear reactors to submarines. However, the same technology can also fuel the creation of nuclear weapons, posing a serious threat to global stability. The geopolitical impact of uranium enrichment cannot be overstated. Nations with the capability to enrich uranium hold significant power in both the energy and defense sectors. As more countries develop this technology, the balance of global power continues to shift, and the risk of nuclear proliferation increases. It's crucial that we understand both the potential and the risks that come with uranium enrichment. What's your take on uranium enrichment? Do you believe it's possible to balance the peaceful uses of nuclear energy with the risks of weaponization? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into the world of science, technology, and global affairs. Stay informed, stay curious, and keep looking up.